What up guys, the Delta 16 here, and based on the fact of what I said last episode, one down and a few more to go. This is the next episode in the Connects Armory, and we've got a few more to go before the special episode for Series 3, where we finish it. Not the entire Connects Armory thing, oh no. I'm going to be doing the Connects Armory for a while, just as long as I don't run out of gun ideas. Uh, so here we have the Phasertron from uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. It's a DLC um, add-on for obviously Far Cry 3. I myself have not played Far Cry 3, uh, but it does look a good game. Uh, I don't. I like the uh, I like the uh, open world idea. And just a little bit uncertain of Far Cry 3 because of uh, that. I think is Vass is his name, the wacko with the uh, with the mohawk or whatever. I can't picture him off the top of my head. Uh, but Far Cry 3 then has its own DLC pack. It's like a standalone game. Uh, in fact, you don't actually need Far Cry 3 to play it. Um, so you have uh, Blood Dragon. Now, I have the demo for Blood Dragon, uh, haven't actually played the full game, but it does look really good. The funny thing is, it's a dystopian, I guess, uh, look at, I think, 2008, uh, based on the old VHS uh, looks of the future, the 1980s action films. Uh, so you play as Rex Colt, who's a cyber commando. And uh, he's uh, he's voiced by Michael Bien, I think his name is. Um, and he's been in a couple of uh, big films from the 80s. One of the biggest was uh, Aliens. He was really good in that. Can't picture off the top of my head which character he was. But I know he was in Aliens. The name does ring a bell uh, for Aliens. Um, so this is the Phasertron, as I said. It's essentially the submachine gun slash assault rifle. I think of uh, Blood Dragon. Um, it's based off the, I think it's the Calico M950, which is a Chinese. I think I'm not very good at picturing these guns off the top of my head. I think it's a Chinese submachine gun. In fact, I have an app on my uh, on my iPod that should say I don't have the full uh, app, but it does have some. And I can see the battery going down a bit on this. Good God. Not very long battery life, this camera, but, you know, does the trick. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're, it's not Chinese, by the looks of it, because it's not on there. It's not on the Chinese list. Um, sorry this is taking a while, but I will find it. I'll find what country it comes from. Uh, apparently it's not on there. Oh, there it is. Okay, it looks like I got it wrong. I think it, the I think the base design is Chinese, but it's listed on here as the Calico M960 from the States. So apparently America made its own version. And all this is, it looks as if it's got like a Kalashnikov style back to it. That bolt is on the actual gun. When he reloads it, he pulls a bolt. It has a built-in like red dot sight or reflex sight right there. Has a magazine again. I can't do curved, so straight is the closest I can get to it. He flicks it out and does some. He flicks the uh, or he like spins the magazine around, loads it in, and pulls the bolt. And it's got two ver vertical foregrips. This will be a pain to hold because uh, obviously it bends around. It's not Lego. It's not secure. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's the view again. It's got a very slow rate of fire. Uh, for a submachine gun um, and then also has like a carry handle kind of thing I'm, I'm I'm thinking that you can add like scopes on there again I haven't played the full version of uh, Blood Dragon I have a trial I know there are upgrades you can get for this but I haven't got them on the trial uh, but it's a good game I recommend it even though I haven't played the full version 
So uh, this episode is quite quick because as I said I don't know any attachment for this. I can't speculate attachments because I'll probably be wrong. It may not even actually appear in the game. So this is the Phasertron from Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. This has been the Delta 016. Keep your head on the swivel.